A Colorado couple is challenging the dismissal of their marijuana wholesaling business's Chapter 7 bankruptcy filing, taking the issue of pot and bankruptcy to the highest judicial level ever. Pot companies are not eligible to file for bankruptcy due to a conflict between state and federal laws. A handful of states, like Colorado, have made it legal to buy pot, and 29 states in the District of Columbia have legalized medical marijuana. Still, the Federal Controlled Substances Act prohibits it. Because bankruptcy is a federal process, judges have ruled that cannabis-related companies are not allowed to access it. That fact makes life difficult for pot entrepreneurs like Frank and Sarah Arenas, who are vulnerable to lawsuits because they can't pay the claims that creditors have brought against them. They have asked the Tenth Circuit Court of Appeals to evaluate the dismissal of their Chapter 7 bankruptcy filing in hopes that the higher-level court may set a precedent. Pot bankruptcy supporters argue that it's unfair that business owners operating legally in their own states don't have the same protections offered to other types of businesses. And some have pointed out that casinos are allowed to file for bankruptcy despite differences in state gaming laws, the deal's Kelsey Butler reports. We'll see if the appellate court can bring this issue out of the purple haze between federal and state law. I'm Lisa Allen, and that's The Deal Report.